Hey guys, what's up? It's me, Eddie G, with another Photoshop tutorial. In this video, we're going to look at a quick and easy way to make a transparent text layer so the image behind your text stands out to have your final document look just like this. Okay guys, in this video, we're going to be going over a very simple and yet effective text effect that's going to make your text transparent and show whatever image behind your text is going to shine through that font. So first off, I'm going to start out with a brand new document here in Adobe Photoshop, which is 1920 by 1080. And I just like to work in the standard high definition format. So first and foremost, what we need is an image to throw our text over. So I'm going to go ahead and import this image of a mountain sunset. Now, of course, since this is another text effect, we're going to come over here and we are going to grab our text tool and I am just going to type out the word sunset. Now, I'm going to make this just a bit bigger so it's going to actually fill the image like I would like it to. So I am just using a good font that I actually like that is called impact. So now we have our text nice and centered in the middle of our image, but obviously it's not transparent and you are covering up the beautiful image that you are putting this text over. So first thing we're going to do is we're going to come over here and we're going to make sure that our text layer is selected and we're going to come over here and we're going to set the text layer option to soft light. Now you can see that text is really, really dim, but in the middle of the text right here, the image that we're looking at is really showing through. So next, what we're gonna do is I'm gonna come down here and I'm gonna create a new layer. So I have a blank layer on top of my text layer. But what I'm going to do is I'm gonna control and select the text icon layer right there. So that's gonna give that the text is gonna be selected. But what I want is the background around the text selected. So I'm gonna come up here to select and I'm gonna do inverse. Now you can see everything other than the text is selected. So now I can come up here and come to edit, come down to fill, and I'm going to fill that with white. Now I'm going to deselect that. And obviously you can see the image is showing through, but the white is still covering up the majority of our image. So I'm going to come over here and I'm going to play with the opacity of that white layer that's on top of my text until I get the desired effect that I'm looking for and right around 40% looks pretty good to me. So for all intents and purposes, this tutorial would actually be over, but I really don't like the way that the sunset text is kind of laying flat on that background image. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna come out here and right click in this empty area of the white layer that we have on top of our text layer, and I'm gonna come to layer options, and I'm actually just gonna give that a drop shadow. Now, I like the way that this drop shadow looks, but you can come up here and if you watched any of my tutorials in the past, you know that I like to leave the blend mode set to multiply. This is a personal preference. You can set it to normal anywhere you want to, so you can play around this to make it your own. So the distance is obviously how far the drop shadow is going to go. I don't actually like it too much more than what it was set at. So I've got my distance set to 10, the spread set to five, and the size set to five. So I'm gonna go ahead and click on OK. And now you can see that gives it a little bit more depth and definition away from this white background and ultimately the image that we're putting this transparent text effect over. So I can actually come in here and click on off the effects and you see how it goes back to being a flat looking image. And I can turn the drop shadow back on and it gives it that little definition, that little more pop to make this stand out just a little bit more. All right, guys, I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. If you did, make sure to subscribe and smash that like button, and we'll see you on the next video.